slide the load beam onto the frame and lock it. Connect the hooks from the motor chains to the load beam and lift the whole package slightly. To detach the XSL touring card, release the splay link of the lowest cabinet Then remove the two front links. As a next step, prepare the compression set containing the compression frame, the compression chain, the crank lever hoist, the compression frame master link and the chain bag. First, attach the compression chain to the respective hole on the load beam. Next, attach the grab link. The optimum position for the grab link can be determined in array calc. When compression mode is enabled, a separate tab shows the optimum grab link position relative to the straight array during setup. XSL supports two rigging modes, tension mode and compression mode. The rare rigging strand holes for compression mode are labeled in blue or gray, depending on the cabinet type XSL8 or XSL12. The holes for tension mode are labeled in black. The holes in the center are shared holes for both modes. Depending on the used rigging mode, use the hole number in the respective color for correct angle assignment. The upper two holes labeled C connect the cabinets to each other during transport or to the frame. The holes on the left side and the middle strand determine the display between cabinets from 0 to 14 degrees for compression mode. Insert one angle pin per cabinet according to the list of splay angles generated in Raycalc. In this case it's 1, 2 and 4 degrees. Lift the array to make room for the next touring cart below. Extend the front links and insert one of the pins in the uppermost hole to lock them in place. Lower the array and connect the front links. Release the safety pin and make sure that the locking pin is set to zero degrees. Lower the array at the back and lift it again. Engage the pin with the splay link and don't forget to insert the safety pin. Release the touring card. As a next step, set the display angles of the remaining loudspeakers. The display link of the lowest cabinet must be set to zero degrees in order to attach the compression frame. First, connect the compression frame at the front. Then remove the rear safety pin, engage the display link and reinsert the pin. Connect the master link to the compression frame, then attach the crank lever hoist to the O-ring. The lever hoist has three modes of operation.
To pull the excess chain, set the lever to the neutral position. Pull the excess. Turn the knob to engage the clutch. Put the lever to lifting mode and compress the array. The crank lever hoist has a friction clutch. It shows when the maximum permitted compression force has been achieved by kinking. Now, all cabinets are angled correctly and no more compression must be applied. Set the lever to neutral and attach the master link chain to the compression chain. This bypasses the lever hoist and acts as a secondary safety device. The chain bag attaches to the master link o-ring. Thank you, Chris and Jones.